Hello everyone, today we're going to be testing a very sort of interesting and weird gas mask, but I'm sort of a fan of it. It's the Belgian BEM 4GP, and the GP part of it stands for General Purpose Respirator. Now, this is an oddity of a mask, because it was introduced in the 90s, they basically designed and started making their own mask, and then within a few years they decided they didn't want it, and they bought a load of Avon FM12s, I believe it was. Um, there were, might, maybe there was a bit of bribery somewhere, who knows, maybe Avon just made them a really good deal and undercut the price of these, who knows, but basically uh, for ages Belgium used the French M51 gas mask, which was fine in the 50s but was very outdated by that point, funnily enough you can see pictures of French soldiers wearing the M51 in Desert Storm, and so that's the Gulf War to the Americans. Um, and with the um, sort of M51 at that point, they were still really old production M51s that you know were probably leaking because I've seen surplus M51s where the rubber's completely falling apart on them. And um, you know, if uh, this pitch is brilliant, if you search French soldiers Gulf War or French soldiers Desert Storm, you'll find this picture where they're in the old rubber NDC suits. And they have mismatching filters, and some of the filters look like they're rusty filters from the 50s. Where um, I, I really f I feel sorry for the soldiers, but you know, if they were gassed, they'd have died. And there was, there's no escaping that. But regardless, the Belgians decided they didn't want that shitty old mask anymore, and they wanted a um, new cool mask. So they had the BEM B -E 4GP invented. And this is kind of a bit of a groundbreaking mask at the time, because it was made in the early 90s, and it's got a visor on it. It's not actually got the two sort of lenses like most masks at the time, and the mask that would replace it. Um, it had a visor before everybody else did it, as far as most of us are aware. Some industrial masks had visors beforehand, but not on military masks. But this mask has one very cool feature. You can twist the filter to left, bottom, or right, so however you shoot your rifle, you can accommodate it. Which is a really clever idea, so... If you're a left-handed shooter, you can have the um, filter on the right. If you're a right-handed shooter, you can have the filter on the left. And if you're using it with some sort of right helmet and want the filter vertically down, you can do that as well. Or, you know, using it with a hose assembly, you can put the filter down. Now, some people have said these masks leak, and that's why, you know, didn't work properly, had dodgy seals. That's why they were replaced in service. However, I've seen no evidence of any documentation saying that. So was that a rumour made up? I don't know. But what we're going to do is test it. Now, I used this filter a couple of weeks ago when I tested my M65 and it worked. So as far as I'm concerned, because we're only blocking aerosols, you only need the basic particulate filter. That filter should still work. So we're going to try gassing it with the filter in several positions and see if it works. So here we go. So here I am with a mask on. Uh, if that looks slightly sort of blurry on there, that's just where it's got dusty, where I've had it on the shelf for ages. So filter check, mask pressurises at work, mask is sealed properly, excellent. So, yeah, you do get good very all-round vision with here, blind spots here, but peripheral vision is actually pretty good with this kind of thing on. Um, yeah, a bit of, you can't see directly up, but yeah, you get good vision. I still prefer the two round sort of things closer to your eyes, but... Uh, it doesn't fit with my current glasses, but I imagine you could wear some spectacles under this without much issue. So, you've got a lot of space between your eye and that for that there. So, um, it's five point head, sorry, six point head harness, two straps here, two straps here, two straps here. Then you get a good fit. So, what I'm going to do, see if the seals work on this one. Right, and I'll start timing that in a moment. So far I can't smell a thing. So this is 11.38 now, so I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and then we'll see how well it works. So thank you to whoever it was in the comments who said, could I test this mask because I haven't done a video on it. But I thought that's a good idea because, you know, this is an interesting mask and I have recommended this before for people wanting a decent surplus mask because these are, you know, you can get these that were made in the mid-90s, so... In theory, they're just coming to their end of their 20 year shelf life, but they're a very good condition mask, especially if you wanted against tear gas or something. So, what we're going to do is rotate that. Still can't smell anything. Rotate it again. 
can't smell anything. Rotate it again, can't smell anything. So, as you can see, if I was shooting a rifle, uh, I'd have it like this because I'm right-handed. The filter assembly is like on a normal mask. You've got the filter to the side, but you can have it in any position you want. From what I've read, there's, this is only one of two masks that did this. The other one was an Italian mask, I believe. I think it's called something like the Super 51, but I haven't really seen pictures of it, so I can't comment, but I think that's a pretty cool idea they did, you know, having this filter design where you can only, um, you know, you can twist it however you want. It's a shame more masks didn't do that, but that's where I've heard rumours that these masks leaked was the swivel bit for the filter uh, caused problems. But yeah, no, the mask is working perfectly fine. I can't smell a thing. Um, and I said, you know, really, I should be doing this test with a new filter. And funnily enough, I have found um, on Amazon you can buy particulate filters and brand new ones for about five pounds. So I've ordered one of those. That will come soon. I also have two new masks coming that will be very interesting. One of them is an old asbestos one, so I can't wear it. It'll be interesting to look at. And the other one is not even a surplus one, from my understanding of where I ordered it. It's a brand new mask, so uh, I only paid about £60 for it. So if it's in good condition, if it's a good mask, I'm going to recommend that for people wanting a prepper mask, you know, because it's within its 10 year shelf life easily. So, but anyway, back to this video. Yeah, the mask works. Ah, but if I do this... I can smell stuff. It has the same problem the uh, German M65 has, where the chin seal isn't very good. It's not much of a problem, but obviously in a gas environment you would not want that. Uh, that is not a problem I've ever had with the Avon S10 or FM12 type masks. They have very good all-round face seals. The inside of this mask does look quite a bit like the Draeger M65. It's got the same sort of chin section and nose section. But uh, obviously this is a much better mask than the M51 they replaced, uh, the French a &P M51. But yeah, most of the allegations around this mask, as far as I can tell from this one example, are pretty unfounded. The mask works perfectly fine. The, you know, modified filter position is a very good idea. You get very clear vision and um, it's a really interesting mask. You can still find these on eBay. Uh, I got mine from an army surplus for around £30-40, pounds, but on eBay they are £30-40 pounds with the carry bag for them as well, which I didn't get because a lot of army surplus stores are really cheap where they take everything apart and sell the bags separately for about the same price as a gas mask, so... Um, yeah, so, but yeah, to get on subject, the Ben 4 GP definitely works. I wonder if it's in this position. Yeah, you can still breathe, so you can even breathe when it's not locked into a position, but... Yeah, the mask works. Now for the bit I'm dreading. <coughs> mm. Yeah, the mask works. Let's leave it at that.